guys. Fusion Force is here. So, a couple days ago, there was this website that was found, and I think it's called Kids Warehouse, um, if I'm remembering that correctly. And they had like 50 boxes of Fusion Force in stock, just randomly, out of nowhere. Um, my guess is that the shipment went to the wrong place, like it was supposed to go to the LGS, or it was supposed to go to one of the LGSs, but it didn't. And it went to this other random website. I have no idea how, like, exactly why this happened, but the point is, is this one random, like, kids toy website received boxes of Fusion Force, and I was able to snatch one. And this is like, this is actually pretty nuts. Like, Fusion Force is finally here. What's even crazier is that this is going to be the first unboxing of a Bakugan pack of cards on my channel, and heck, just for me in person, of 2020. Like, I, I didn't find any Armored Elite. Armored Elite was never anywhere. You know, I ordered the Armored Elite box from Amazon, but it was mislabeled the the SKUs or whatever were wrong, and I got two packs, so I had to send those back. And it's here. So I don't know exactly what's up with this box. Like, I don't know, like, is this like considered a booster box or is this just like the type of thing that the LGS would have at their store? Because it's not like taped together. It's on a hard cardboard. It's like a really thin cardboard. These pieces are always like, they're, like when I got it, like, and I pulled it out, it started falling apart on me. You can see the three different pack arts back there, but like, this is actually bonkers. So 36 packs, this is probably the most long-awaited Bakugan thing for me, is just being able to open up. Like, look at that, Bakugan Pro, oh my god. This is, this is nuts. So you open it, and there are the beautiful packs in there. Of course, you can kind of punch out this section here. Um, I'm going to open this in three parts. I'm actually going to try to save the packs, you know, resist the urge to open them all. Um, so I'm going to open 12 in this video. Just because, you know, I, I want to upload, um, I want to save these and I also want to do three videos of them so I can actually talk about the cards because if I did a 36 pack unboxing, you know, 11 cards per pack, since we do actually get the, uh, the epic character cards, if I did an unboxing that long of this box and it was all 36 packs, I legit wouldn't be able to explain all the cards and I wouldn't be able to talk about them and, you know, just express my opinions on them. This is actually kind of bonkers. So, wow. Let's take, uh, kind of just alternate. So one, two, three, four. Just take these. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that should be a third of the box. And as you can see, the box itself just, let me show you. The box itself legit just fell apart. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure if this is like how the booster boxes were supposed to be like made. They're not held in by tape or anything. The, the cardboard is really thin. Um, I was never fortunate enough to actually get one of those like Armored Elite boxes, but those looked a little bit more sturdy since they were actually like made of cardboard, um, like thick cardboard. So I'm gonna move this aside. This is honestly just like, like extremely exciting. We got our 12 packs. Let me just count again. You know, four, eight, there we go, 12. So these are the three different pack arts here. Got Havocor Ramparion. The, the pack arts on these look honestly phenomenal. Uh, what is that? Things or Mantanoid attacking Drago and Pegatrix and Gilator. That looks fantastic. So I've got my pair of little scissors here. I'm actually going to try to preserve the pack arts on some of these because these honestly look really, really fantastic. So um, if I'm not able to open the pack cleanly, then I will try to preserve the pack arts. And hopefully I will be able to do so. All right. Yeah, you know, what? I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to cut it open. From the bottom i guess and uh hopefully we uh, get something good i like this is the first pack that i will be opening of bakugan and this is exciting as like this is really really oh my god just just seeing the dual faction cards in person is honestly stunning as you can see on the back there that is the, the epic character card so there's the first pack card i guess i'll just be uh keeping that and um this is this is really exciting so let's get started <laughs> We have, oh, before I get started, I'm hoping to pull three Bakugan Elites in this box or more. That is my, uh, that's my standard. I know it's very low, but I haven't had the best luck in the past buying, you know, full boxes or whatever. So we have Pyro Field, Ruinous Blade, Cindy is there. Rapid Fire, that's really cool. Ooh, Dark Disaster, already a sync card. 
plus 300 plus three, and then sync, you can reveal a card that costs five to draw one, five or more to draw one. Pyru's Spirit, plus a thousand. Darkest Fist, plus 13. I'm pretty sure this was actually a promo in one of the legendary battle sets. Pyrus Magma Fist. All right, so we're getting into the rares. Chaos Max Blast, I believe we have two rares and then we get to the super. Energy Sponge. And wow, wow, already, I think this is kind of a sort of good one. Summon Baku Gear. For the rest of the turn, you can play Baku Gear cards for free. Awesome rare. And wow, nice, a Hex Super Rare off the bat. Baku Fusion Fury. It's pretty awesome. And ooh, we got the Aquos Nilius. These cards are just so cool. It's a shame that they weren't included with the actual product, but that's an actual sync card, which is interesting. I don't think he's very good, because of course Aquos Hydrus is just the superior Bakugan, but that was, uh, I'll set the uh, epic character cards there, the commons and rares will go here, and then I'll put the uh, supers and awesome rares, and then the hexes. That was a really great pack though. You can play Baku Gear for free. It does cost seven, but depending on how many Baku Gear you have in your hand, that could be like really insane. So yeah, uh, moving on to the next pack. I will, again, just like the last one, I am going to try to preserve the pack art on this. Eh, whatever. Didn't really succeed all too well. So, we start off with... Hold up. I'm actually just going to adjust the camera a little bit. All right, that's better. So we got Battle Hardened. Chaotic Fury Charge. Dark Resilience. I love that art with Magnus and... and uh, is that Enoch? Yeah, that's Enoch. We have Dark Disaster. I think I actually have a copy of this. Uh, oh no, we pulled this in the last pack. That's what I was thinking of. Darkest Fist, again. Chaos Scorch. Ventivision, I love that with the Batrix on it. Swamp Ugon, <laughs> I love that art. It's a Ventus plus two damage and you can energize a card in your hand uncharged. Really good. Wow, another awesome rare off the bat. This is honestly getting me a little bit worried though, because in my past, you know, booster boxes, there have been this, like, I, I tend to pull a ton of awesome rares, but not a lot of Bakugan elites, but that's really cool right off the bat. So it's a three cost Pyrus Chaos, and your Chaos and Pyrus get plus three damage and plus one frost. Actually, not bad. And another Hex Super Rare, wow. So we got Coiling Deflection. Boost, if you have seven or, or more uh, energy and cards in play, recharge your energy. Huh. And wow, we got Auxilator character card. Not very good. He's a 306 double shield. At the start of the game, each player draws one. It would have been like a little bit good if it was maybe like at the start of the game, you draw one because that gives you an advantage like already. But each player drawing one, you know, it virtually doesn't change much. So, you know. All right, so now I guess we'll just open up the uh, Ramparian and Howl Core pack. Again, just... Trying to save the packs here. So we start off with a Darkest Slayer. That's two for two on awesome rares and Hex Supers, which is pretty fantastic. Baku Spring, this is a really cool card. Plus Shadow Strike and draw one. Insta Baku Gear. Hey, we're starting to get the actual Baku Gear in this pack. We got the dual faction ones. This card can be attached to a character as a second Baku Gear. Yeah, that's the new, that little symbol right there means it can be attached as a second gear, which is pretty cool. Chaos Slashers. And Darkest Destroyers, I'm pretty sure these were both the promos from the uh, Legendary Battle set. Block and Bite. Baku Sweep Strike. And another Coiling Deflection, this time as a normal super. And Fusion Mud Shield is the Hex. And another Nilius. I'm pretty sure at one point Ventus Knight actually said that you could pull an entire set of the uh, special character cards from one box. So I'm hoping that remains true. Nope. Okay. I guess. It's gonna kind of form a pile of trash on my bed. <laughs> Alright, so we have Obscuring Evade. Dark Resilience. Dark Disaster. MCQ and Cycloid. Darkest Fist. Back to Back. Ooh, Hyper Drago. Maximus Howlcore. Oh, snap! We actually got a Bakugan Elite, yo! Title Cannon, it's not the one that I wanted. The one that I wanted the most, I think it's called like Dark Defense or Dark Fire Defense. 
and it basically is a seven cost energy for plus 99 damage but this is essentially the opposite of that it's eight energy for 3000 b power and zero damage wow i'm that's that's awesome like you know four packs and we got a baku on elite hopefully this is a good sign and wow really nice what's this a third nilius okay scorching laser lance wow that was a great pack baku on elite and a hex super but yeah there's that don't know if I'll ever use that, but that is just such a cool card. I'm so glad I got that. And already, you know, that's one third of the way there to getting uh, my goal of uh, three Bakugan Elite. So hopefully we can make that happen. Yeah, this is a... Uh... Once again, I do want to take my time with this. So let's see what we got here. Another Ventos, v v Ventos, that's weird. I guess it's like Ventus plus Aquos, but that, yeah, whatever. Chaotis Energizer. Pyros. We got three Energizers right there. Vent Tornado. Ooh, whoa. Sophie Judson Warfield. I guess she's the, the character who uses Centipod. When you play this, draw two. Huh. When you team attack, return it to your hand. That's interesting. Fusion Mud Shield. Hyper Nilius. Hyper Dragonoid. Baku Gear Warrior. And wow, another Super Rare Hex. Hyper Batrix. And ooh, yes, we actually got Howl Core. I actually have him. He was in my Invitational deck profile. And this is actually a decent effect. Like, this Bakugan itself isn't good, but this is a decent effect. You can re-roll it once per turn if you miss. It's kind of like, um, I'm, I believe Aquos Tertonium have the same thing. And his cores aren't horrible. You know, there's no fists. He's got the one Helix. Stats aren't great, but still really cool. And I love the art on that too. All right, so getting into this one. Uh, I'm going to try to open the pack. Nope guess not. These packs are kind of fiddly to open, but you know, one of the, one of the main fun things about opening packs is just ripping it open. Uh, just, just that experience. So we got ready for more, ready for more. <laughs> Baku Fuser, Chaos Stomp, Baku Cavalry. Whoa, that's a cool looking one. Thermal Baku Fusion Power. Each player draws one and energizes a card. Hmm, for one. Strategic Smash. Wow, been a while since we've seen Maxator. Pegatrix Diamond. Ooh, whoa, okay. Awesome rare. Third awesome rare of the of the of the box. Maximus Barbetra for 10 energy. Wow. Alright. 1500 B power. 10 damage. It costs three less to play for each Baku gear attached to Barbetra. I feel like we've seen this before. Was this revealed earlier in the year? You guys are gonna have to let me know. I really feel like I have seen this before. This, this this exact card, but that's really cool. And oh my gosh, we got a Hex Awesome Rare too. Wow. And on Auxilator, same effect as the um, Orlis one. This is Teratomic Overdrive. We're getting really lucky so far in this box. I hope that it doesn't run out though, because it would be a shame to pull, you know, Baku on Elite, bunch of Awesome Rares, and then not pull anything in the rest of the box. But plus 100 B power for each energy you have, and then boost plus one damage for each energy. Hmm, interesting. All right, moving on, next pack. Hopefully I will be able to open this one. Nope, I'm still trying to find a way around, you know, going at this route, but uh, this is the only way that we can open them. And I guess that's what I'll have to do. Oh my goodness. This video is already looking to be really long. You know, we're probably like what, a little over half the way through and it's already 12 minutes. So we're gonna start out with Fusion Ventus Defense. I feel like we get a flip in the front of every pack. Uh, Ventus ability, ready for more. Baku Fuser, Thermal Baku Fusion Power again. Aerial Quake, ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Trying to ride in Barbetra, that's pretty cool. And drives the top card of your deck on charge. Similar to the same, to the Sophie card where you can actually return it to your hand when you do a team attack. That's really interesting. Ooh, we have Chaotic Booster, whoa. Let's read out this, like it's just a rare, but that looks pretty cool. When you play it, destroy an enemy Baku gear, plus 300, plus three. It's a five cost though, that's a bit steep. I guess with Ventus it could be fine. Um, ooh, Cyrus Ultra. At the start of the game, a Bakugan gets plus three damage. Hmm. So we have Baku Assist, choose a hero. Its controller must energize it. Whoa, that's interesting. And another super rare um, Hex, wow. We're not even getting Hexes of like the standard like rares and stuff at this point. Interesting. 
So yeah, definitely hoping that we can get that other uh, Bakugan Elite, hopefully at some point. Um, I'm also kind of nervous because I feel like this might be the only way, the only time that I'll ever get a Fusion Force box since that website that I got this from actually sold out of them, like the day that I ordered it. Hey, I'll Scorch. Pyru Field. For some reason, my lights just got brighter. I'm not sure if you noticed that or not. Ruinous Blade, Pyru Spirit. Ventivision, Ventus Destruction. Whoa, Brutal Barrage, Baku Gear. All right, when you play it, if a player has no cards in the hand, plus 500, plus five. Hmm, interesting. I guess this could work in Fury, because if, if you play it and then you don't have any other cards, then that could be interesting. And wow, another awesomer hex, Terran Vitalizer for four, plus 200, plus two. That's really kind of underwhelming, to be honest. And Havocore. Interesting, whoa. At the start of the game, make a Pyrus attack for two. Whoa. Like, I don't, it's a 502 and it's a Fist Helix, so the, st the cores and stats aren't that good, but that's, in, like, that could be, like, that basically, like, about, well, okay. That's like some early game aggro, basically. That's kind of interesting. It's like a free, just free, your opponent takes two damage, basically, which is really interesting. So they could, you could potentially, like, mill out their flips or whatever, and they won't be able to pay for them. I'm gonna get the scissor again. There we go. All right. So we have Aqua Burst, Ventus Ability, <laughs> Cubbo's Rules. I love that. That's hilarious. Ready for more. Baku Strength, Chaos Smasher, Strategic Smash, Diamond Pegatrix. Oh my god. We got another title cannon. Oh my gosh. I saw, I saw the sparkling, the sparkling edge, and I was really hoping it was going to be the dark, Darkest Fire Defense, but that is, I'll take it. That's, that's two out of three that I wanted. That's amazing. Obscuring, Evade, for zero. Stop, uh, Pyrus, or stop, Darkest or Aquos. And, whoa, that is really, really miscut, but we got a Dragonoid. <laughs> double, double, uh, double fist. When you attach a Baku gear, you may retract a Baku on your control. Yeah, that's, that's pretty trash. All right, so we got three more packs left to this opening. Um, I'm really satisfied. Like, honestly, if this was the entire box, we already got two Baku gear. That's looking pretty good. Hopefully I can pull the Dark Fire Defense. Like that's the number one card I want from this set. Um, to be honest, there are more cards, like when it comes to competitive play, there are more cards that I actually want from Armored Elite than this set. But uh, nonetheless, you know, I'm actually gonna start off with the with the character card. Save the uh, Hex, whoa, Pegatrix. When you attach a Baku gear, each player discards a card. Hmm. All right, we got Aqua Slash. Aqua Freeze Beam. I think this is the first time we've even seen this. This one too, like we haven't even seen some of these cards yet. Baku Briar, Ventus Shred, I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen this one either. Whoa, enough. this entire pack, like I, I don't even think I've seen any cards in this pack before. Everett Ray and Maxidon. Yes, we got Howling Shell Bomb. This is like the best card or one of the best cards for the Sync deck. So happy we got that. We got Punishing Paws. And wow, nice way to end this pack. Darkest Shadow. Whoa, I love the art on that one. You choose one. Basically, just choose anything except for Orlis. Whoa! Your opponent reveals their hand and discards all cards of that faction. That's actually really, really cool. It's for four, though. And a Pyros Energizer as a hex. It's pretty cool. Second Baku Gear card. It does cost six, though. All right, we got two more packs left. Um, again, you know, this is only a third of the box. If we can keep this up, hopefully we get four more Bakugan Elites in this box. I really hope I didn't just blow my luck um, opening this. I don't know why I was cutting this open, but, you know, we, we, did, we cut it open. So there we go. We're just going to run with it. All right. Again, we'll take a look at the character card first, just because why not? Whoa, Ventus Fowler, Feral. Yeah. Boost. If you have seven or more energy cards in play, plus five damage. So it becomes a ten damage. Ah, cores aren't too good. I actually do have Ventus Feral, though, so that's pretty cool. Oh, yes, this is actually one of the cards I wanted. Back to back. I have this guy sitting next to me. Um, it's not Cycloid. I thought that it was going to be Cycloid and Apollyon, but it's not. It's actually Kloptor, but it really look, it really does look like Cycloid. Um, I remember when this f card was first revealed, that's kind of when everyone started making that theory that this card was, that this Bakugan was actually Cycloid and, and Apollyon, but that's really cool. We have Darkest Fire Dodge. I need Darkest Fire Defense right now. Uh, Dark, Dark Huos Energizer. Battle Hardened. Chaotic Fury Charge. Heo Scorch. 
Oh my gosh, I love that. Baku moves, that is hilarious. Pyrus Ascendancy. Wow, oh my gosh, another awesome rare. Wow, Lightning Pack Leader. Your Baku, uh, your Darkest and Aquos get Victor draw two. And a Darkest Fist, awesome. So I think we've gotten like six or seven awesome rares at this point, which is kind of nuts because like we haven't actually pulled like a ton of just generic supers. A little bit concerning. Like at this point, awesome rares, like if, if my Age of Orlis box says anything about it, at this point, awesome rares are becoming more common than uh, supers. There we go. Okay. So this is the last pack for this first part. Let's take a look at the character card. Whoa, Maxidon. When you attach a Baku gear, you may re-roll it. Huh, interesting. So basically, it kind of gives the effect that, like, every time you, like, if you play a Baku gear, then it kind of has, like, a mini re-roll effect, too. It's actually kind of cool. If, if, if only he didn't have that. Stats aren't horrible, though. All right, last pack. Let's see what we get. We have Pyru Field. <laughs> Cubo Clones, plus two damage, and you can re-roll. Ruinous Blade. Chaos Stomp. Baku Cavalry. I think that's the first time I've seen that one. Pyro Spirit. Ooh, Diamond Halicor Ultra. Diamond Nilius Ultra. That's really cool. Another awesome rare. Ventus Footfall. Put a Baku Core from an enemy Bakugan onto one of your open Bakugan. And a Baku Cavalry as the Hex. So, we pulled two Bakugan Elites, which is actually kind of nuts from 12 packs. Again, I really hope that this wasn't all the luck that the box had. When I took out the packs, I just kind of grabbed them from each side. So it's not like I just opened the first 12 packs from the first side of the box. I just kind of grabbed 12 from like the front just until I got 12. So I'm really hoping that this isn't the whole luck for the box. But nonetheless, like, that's really nuts. Uh, yeah, so let's go over the cards that we got. So Ventus Footfall, awesome rare. Lightning Pack Leader, awesome rare. Darkest Shadow, awesome rare. Brutal Barrage, Baku Assist. Maximus Barbetra, Baku Gear Warrior, uh, Coiling Deflection, Leah Fusion Brawler, and Summon Baku Gear. So, out of 12 packs, we only got four generic super rares. We got... We got six awesome rares, and then two Bakugan Elites. Actually kind of bonkers. And then even when we go to the hexes, like... We got one hex, awesome rare. Super rare, awesome rare, super rare, super rare, super rare, super rare. So like that's actually kind of bonkers that we got five hex super rares as well and then two hex awesome rares. But honestly, the art on this one specifically, Terra and Vitalizer, looks really great. Really happy to have these. I'm going to sleeve these up right now. Uh, be sure to stay tuned for tomorrow. I know it's a 22 minute video, but I hope that you'll watch it because I did want to kind of explain all the effects. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you tomorrow with the next uh, 12 packs of the box. I'm the detective. Peace out.